Yes, sir. What is going on, YouTube? It is your boy D Nolly, aka Don Squally, and in today's video, man, we are back at it with another Forza Horizon 5 build video. I gotta get used to saying that, man. Uh, if I do say Forza Horizon 4, and you guys catch it, let me know down in the comment section because I'm still I'm still on that Forza Horizon 4 mindset. But what we are doing today uh, is a build that is not found in Forza Horizon 4 so it's definitely five men uh, what we're doing today is we're building that 2021 uh, Ford Bronco now for those of you guys who know the Bronco uh, came out quite recently uh, from what I understand they're having trouble filling orders there's quite a long waiting list um, you can get the Bronco Sport those are still around you do see those around quite often uh, before today's video we're gonna be talking about the big boy um, and I'm not really sure what kind of Bronco this is. Let me see if it's uh, this. I'm assuming is the wild horse since I'm I'm looking at a horse right on the back there. Um, but what we're going to do is jump into a couple of modification options. Now, for those of you guys who know, uh, this thing comes with a 3.5 liter. Can I check out the... Oh, shoot. This looks like a 2.7 liter EcoBoost in this thing. And uh, I'm going to do in this video what I think Ford should have done right from the very beginning. And that is throw a V8 in this thing. Now, I'm sure somewhere along the line, somebody's going to throw a V8 in this thing. But I think we're going to have to do it in this video. Now, we do have a couple of different V8 options. Uh, the 6.2, which I believe is LS. Then we got a 5.8 here, DSC. I'm not sure what that means. Um, then we have the 7.4 liter V8 twin turbo. Um, and then we have a racing 7.2. I think we're going to keep it simple with this one. Um, now, as you can see, we are taking a hit with power, uh, horsepower, as well as torque on this, uh, on this particular motor swap. But that's okay. Um, because I just I want this thing to sound like a V8 man I'm not gonna lie uh, as far as the drivetrain swap goes I think keeping it all-wheel drive is probably gonna be the best option now uh, I'm a butt hurt I'm probably gonna put some stock uh, or some street wheels and tires on this thing um, but nonetheless you know we're gonna go ahead and keep it all-wheel drive because I do feel like um, it needs to it needs to have that aspect it is Broncos after all um, now we did as you can see throw on the supercharger kit uh, so now we're rocking with a 6.2 liter V8 with a supercharger. So this thing should be making quite a bit more jam than than uh, it did in its stock form. Um, now, as far as the bumpers go with these with these off road builds, as you can see, we're not rocking a splitter here. Now we are actually rocking a big brush guard. I don't really care for the way that that looks, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that off. Um, now, I do understand the, the importance of a fifth wheel on the back of your vehicle, especially when you're off-roading, but I do like the clean look uh, without it, uh, so I think we're going to go ahead and take that wheel off. Uh, now, we've got our side steps here. And I'm not exactly sure what this is changing right now. Maybe I miss. Oh, did I see a snorkel? No, see, so I'm not exactly sure what this is changing here. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and keep the stock one on there, or the stock side skirts, I should say. Now, as far as our hood goes, um, not the hood. We do have a couple of light bar setups, one on the hood and then the big old round ones uh, on the top. I, you know what? I'm not really feeling any of these uh, light bar setups. I do want to keep this thing. Uh, we're going to see if we can make it a street truck. I guess that really all depends on how low we can get it. Um, now, as far as the tire compound goes, we're going to drop the off-road tire compound. Uh, as you can see, it just changes the diameter of the wheel, gets it a little bit lower. Actually, I don't even know if it does. It just looks like it causes the truck to go a little bit lower, but the wheel diameter doesn't actually change. Now, as far as our tire width goes, these tires are already pretty wide, uh, so I don't think it's really necessary to make them any wider. Um, but now comes the fun part. Like I say, I want to do it like a Stance Boy uh, build on this thing. So we're going to go ahead and throw the biggest wheel on here that we possibly can, which is only a 21. Um, I was hoping we could make that wheel diameter quite a bit more aggressive. Um, but now I'm going to skim through a couple of our wheel options here and see if I can find something that I think is going to make this thing uh, look, you know, in between of a good mix of a street truck as well as an off-roader here. 
Now, part of me did want to do a street truck build, but then I put these weld racings with the bead lockers on here, and I'm like, damn, am I really making the right decision on this one? Um, I think... I think I think for the off road for the Bronco bro like we might have to go with the bead lockers on here I'm not really seeing anything like those are kind of cool but makes it look too much like a Jeep uh, so yeah man I'm thinking let's go with the weld racings with the bead locker on here hopefully we can paint these uh, a different color as well paint that bead lock on there like I don't know maybe yellow or green something a little more traditional for an off-roader um, now comes the drivetrain I'm only gonna make a few modifications on the drivetrain is it just me or does this thing have a lot of positive camber from the factory like that's a little ridiculous um we're gonna upgrade the clutch actually you know what the suspension might already be upgraded on this thing because now that i'm looking we do have an upgraded transmission um with the eight speed on here now uh, I am going to be doing a things that I do like, things that I don't like uh, ga uh, video about this game here. Um, so stay tuned for that. I don't know. The uh, the fact that a lot of the cars that you get or win come pre-modified like pre uh, is something that I don't really care for all that much. I like to do the modifications myself um, the way that I want to without any hindrance like, uh, oh, Okay, we do have the stock springs and dampers on here. Is it just me or is there a lot of positive camber on that front wheel, man? I don't know if that was a mistake in the game or like the Broncos actually do come like that in real life. Um, I'm not really sure. But one thing we are going to do is throw the rally springs and dampers on here just so we can uh, mess around with the alignment. And hopefully, hopefully we can get this thing a little bit lower. Uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see if we can raise it, see if we can lower it, and then see uh, pretty much where we're at from there. Uh, now that we got that out of the way, I think the only thing left to do is modify our engine. And I think for the intake, we're gonna go ahead and throw a race intake on here. The exhaust. For some reason, it sounds louder with the stock exhaust on here. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that race exhaust on here. And then the supercharger. doesn't really change the sound of the truck all that much um, but I do want to have a little bit more power on here so I think we're gonna go ahead and upgrade that and I think that's pretty much it something nice and simple not too crazy uh, obviously trying to be somewhat conservative with my money since I do have like I don't know two like almost a year two years worth of build videos to do I got to keep my keep my dough stacks relatively up there for the time being uh, but now that we got the upgrades out of the way, I think the only thing left to do, uh, you know what, we actually have to do some tuning before we get into the paint shop here. Um, so as far as the springs go, see we're all the way raised up right now. Super soft suspension. I want to see what it looks like lowered to the ground. How low is it going to actually be? It would be really cool to have a slam Bronco. Um, just, just to say that we did, maybe I'll put that in the title. Um, by the looks of it though, we're not, uh, it's not overly aggressive or slammed. Uh, let's check it out in the paint section here. Um, nothing too crazy, kind of still feeling the bead lockers, but let's throw some paint on here and uh, see if we now this the, the Broncos do come with some relatively strange paint jobs uh, the baby blue this like orange is nice um, but it's kind of a pastel not very sharp and then you got like this like turquoise greenish color a uh, little bit strange for a very modern vehicle coming out and then this one's almost like a very light green I don't really know what to say about that but uh, let's go ahead and search some different paint schemes here I do like the gray I mean, I like the gray a lot. I think that's going to be the move right there. Uh, the gray with the black roof. Uh, can we do the hood black? Should we do the hood black? Uh, I don't think so. I think that looks a little tacky on this particular vehicle. Uh, no spoiler. The mirror caps are already black, so we don't have to worry about those. Now comes the fun part. Is the wheel bead locker going to change? So basically when you paint the wheel... Oh, it does look... Do we have a... A secondary color here advanced okay so we can paint different groups we've got the inner barrel and the outer lip let's see 
if this is just the bead locker yes so now we can change the color on just the bead locker uh, so traditionally you see these things in like lime green or even yellow uh, the gold was kind of subtle but i think for the move here is going to be that lime green uh, i don't know why just giving me some very you know some some very strong grave digger vibes on here um, so we're going to go ahead and install those i like the inner barrel the way that it is i think that's going to uh, suit this build quite nicely um, now comes the brake calipers now in my mind brake calipers should just be red i don't think there's really a proper color uh, aside from red for a brake caliper and it actually doesn't look too tacky with the with the green uh, bead lockers on here uh, so now that we got that out of the way, uh, window tint pretty much our last uh, the last thing that we need to do on this. And I don't know, man, that's looking pretty sick. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and install this on the vehicle. And as we often do around this time, uh, take this thing out for a rip and see how it performs. So first thing we're gonna do is just take, uh, do a little walk around. I like to do the walk arounds prior to making the videos. Couple of revs here, this thing extremely crispy i'm really like i was a little unsure about the green wheels but i don't know why it's just it's just the right level of weird i feel like this is the kind of paint scheme that when you first see it uh it's really strange but then the more you look at it, it's like come on those those wheels are pretty sick man uh so v8 supercharged ford bronco one of the crazy things about the bronco is the fact that they don't offer it with a with a v8 now I know everything now is going green and super, you know, like super tree hugger, you know, uh, all that good stuff. Uh, EVs, twin turbo V6s are becoming the norm, uh, you know, especially in big trucks like the Toyota Tundra just came out with the, I believe, twin turbo V6, uh, which is disappointing. I mean, you know, I, all right, is it going to tow as much as a V8 naturally aspirated? Yes, probably. Uh, are you going to have the longevity of a V8? I personally don't think so. And, you know, there's nothing more disappointing than seeing like a Ford Raptor or like a big Dodge pickup and then it's a V6 sound that's coming out of it and they're trying to like rip it like it's something cool to have like a V6, even if it's got a twin turbo. The EcoBoost don't really sound like all that great they just sound like a regular v6 with an exhaust leak and uh to me that's just not i mean you know i'm a car guy i'm sure if you're watching this video and you've made it this far there's a good chance that you're also a car guy um it, you know so it's just uh it's one of those things that i get why we have to do that like the world is you know we need to save the environment and all that good stuff um but I just, you know, I feel like there should still at least be the option for people who don't, uh, I guess, for lack of better term, care about the environment and just want that raw power and the sound of a V8. Um, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's, that's just how I feel about it. Um, but overall, this thing handles really well. Now, we're doing some twisty back roads here. And this thing is really not skipping a beat. And we're in a Ford Bronco. Um, now, I wouldn't mind doing a comparison. Maybe I'll save this Bronco. I won't auction it. And I'll buy another one uh, stock with the twin turbo. And compare the two of them uh, on the drag strip. And do like a little quarter mile comparison. I also do want to do a quarter mile comparison uh, with the new Supra versus the old Supra. Both in their stock form. Um, but yeah, this thing is I mean, it, it rips. Let's do some Bronco stuff and go off-roading right now. Um, we are still currently on a trail. Um, now, there are a lot of cool things to see in this game. I have not discovered half of them. Um, so I'm looking forward to just cruising around, doing some off-roading. Uh, now, currently still using the free cars on the game to win races and make money. I think I've only bought maybe a, a Honda Civic Type R and then uh, I think the, the 350Z I also uh, purchased just because obviously I'm a VQ head. And I think the weekly challenge this week was just to buy and drive the, the 350Z. So we do, we, we're spending a little bit of money, but uh, you guys know me. Oh, hold on a second. 
Or do you know me? I'm not really sure. If you guys are watching for the first time, you're probably like, what's this guy talking about? I don't know who he is. Um, but yeah, this, uh, you know, for what I'm doing, I think uh, we're going to try to save a good portion of our money for these builds uh, for YouTube since that, uh, you know, we're essentially turning video game currency into real life currency by making YouTube videos. And, uh, uh, well, I, I've been enjoying it for quite a few years here, man. I'm not going to lie. Um, okay, we're just going to get this last XP board as long as it's not... Oh, there it is. Um, yeah, grabbing the XP boards. Good. To, if you guys see XP boards out there, especially if you're just play, like starting to play this game, grab them. Uh, they're good. You, you know, your XP builds, you uh, level up and get wheel spins. That's just a little ha life hack from your boy Uncle Don there. Uh, but yeah, I'm thinking we are probably going to put an end to this one. And as we often do around this time, we're going to be taking our little screenshot. Now, can I reset our cosmetic da damage? I can. Uh, and this thing's just looking super crispy. Um, so I'm thinking what I'm probably going to do. Oh, we got. Did we did we get some checkpoints on here? No, no, it doesn't look like we did. I thought maybe we had like taken a picture with a mural or a, a modern sports car, but we actually didn't. Um, so we're going to have to probably check that out. I think there's probably going to be some money involved with that um which is really why, why i'm playing this game currently but yeah i'm thinking that's going to be it for today's video so if you guys did enjoy this one don't forget to smash that like button if you guys want to see more and you're not subscribed so eh, if you're not subscribed yet definitely do so you think making thousands and thousands of videos that I, i'd be able to nail the intro when the time comes but uh nope no, 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 nonetheless, um, I'm thinking that's pretty much it for today's video. So as always, I'm your boy, Dinali, a.k.a. Don Squally. I just want to say thank you guys for watching, and we're going to catch y'all mofos at the next one, man. Peace. Don't die. Oh, shit, where you going, bro? Don't be creeping on my friend. Don't be creeping on my friend. You and your homie. Oh, nut shot. Nut shot. Oh, buddy. Go and your boy, man. Get him out of here. Oh, you fucking! Oh my God!